The Veronica Menaces, Testimony of a Woman from the City or Puebla, Mexico. Before I knew the truth, I was just a member of the church. My body was enslaved by the devil. My spirit was weak, I could not overcome the flesh and I had no strength. My husband who was just a member of the church and did not come home to sleep. My life began to change after a missionary met me. She was hungry and thirsty. I took her to my house and we had lunch together. My husband was at work. That woman prayed for me and my body fell back. Pastor in hell for adding to rapture testimony, my soul was not in my body and I watched everything. The angel of God appeared to me and said, let's go to hell and enter that hot and dark place. The angel said, be prepared to write down the revelations. The angel took me to a place, I saw a woman in the flames. He asked me, do you know this woman? I said, I do not know who she is. The angel said, her name is Sorry Park. This pastor had the privilege of knowing heaven and hell. She added a lot to her testimony, adding to the facts that did not happen in her experience and still said she saw what was not shown. That's why she's here. When the Apostle John was raptured he did not add anything. Revelation 22 verse 18 For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. This woman's suffering was heightened by adding to the revelations. Christian in hell for marketing rapture experience. The angel led me to a man who burned in the flames. He said, he is called Jacques Dembel of Cameroon. He was also snatched up to hell. But he sold his testimony and marketed the revelations. He exalted himself and became known. He charged high sums of money. He thought he was special and that God would not send him to hell after he revealed hell to him. Some who still live on the earth and have been raptured are taking the great risk of coming here. They thought they have the security of guaranteed salvation. From the moment that eternity is revealed, the demons know that that person has discovered the hidden supernatural secrets, the whole hell will rise against their lives. Pastor in hell for suppressing revelations about holiness. The angel took me to the third person. This man also lost his salvation after he was raptured. The angel said, his name is Harold Berthold, and he was a pastor of churches. He was caught up in heaven and the great revelations concerning holiness were passed on to him to be communicated to the church. When he returned to earth he spoke of the beautiful things of heaven to the church but hid the revelations that spoke of holiness. Because of his testimony, the church began to fill. Pastor Harold was very apprehensive of losing the souls he gained so he hid the parts that speak of renunciation. The messages revealed were harsh. He only reported the beauty of heaven to the joy of his congregation. This pastor cut down the visions by speaking only half. Revelation 22 verse 19, If any man takes away any prophecy from this book, God shall take away his portion from the tree of life and from the holy city which is set forth in that book. This man kept the revelations to himself, taking his secrets with him to his grave. Many souls went to hell because he had hidden the revelations. No coward will enter the kingdom of heaven, Revelation 21 verse 8, the timid will not inherit the kingdom of the heavens. This pastor had the pleasure of seeing the heavenly paradise but did not enter it when he died. I remembered the passage that Moses saw the promised land, but he could not enter because of his sin. Moses spoke to God and has many experiences, but did not enter Canaan. Christian with powerful rapture experience still ended up in hell. The angel took me to another man. He is in great torment. The angel said, this man had an opportunity to be saved. God in his infinite mercy took this man out of hell. He had died without Jesus and by a miracle was resurrected in the hospital. He witnessed his passage through hell and won many souls. This man is called Oscar Rodriguez. Mark 8 verse 36, For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? Many people who have heard his testimony died saved and are in heaven.
Oscar after the rapture went through a great test. The whole hell rose against him. His family and his wife abandoned him. His wife went to court and took sole possession of their home. He was so depressed that he stopped praying that God abandoned him. Because of these thoughts, Satan had access to his mind. He walked away from the church and his spiritual life weakened. A demon possessed his body and turned him into an alcoholic. He died addicted to alcohol and is now in hell. Luke 9 verse 62, And Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. The spiritual battle for the rapture is waged, where our souls are at stake. After my rapture, I discovered that I have two goals on earth. Win the souls and not lose mine that is saved. False witnesses, WHO lied about their rapture experience. The angel said, Some people come up with testimonials to make themselves famous and sell books. The angel said, Jane Curia's testimony is false. She was never taken away and everything she said was a fantasy in her mind. She wanted to be promoted and become known. This woman never left her vanities and did not want to renounce the world. When a Christian is raptured, he is corrected and exhorted to let go of sin. All who are raptured have their lives transformed. This woman said she was raptured and yet she is still not born again. Another woman who lied about her rapture is Gloria Polo. She is from the Catholic Church and said she saw purgatory where people die in sin and go there. And after their sins are purified in purgatory they go to heaven. This woman has spread her lies. How did she go to purgatory if it does not exist? Christian woman in hell for not renouncing her vanities, the angel showed me a Christian woman who is suffering a lot in hell. The angel showed me her life on a screen. She was sick in a hospital bed. Even laying in the hospital bed she was in makeup, wearing necklaces and earrings. On the day of her death, she was happy and comforted her husband and family. She had the conviction that she would go up to heaven, she had the faith and certainty that she was saved. When she died, a demon appeared on the hour and carried her soul from bedrooms of death to hell. She did not believe this was happening. She thought she was safe and was cheated. She would not listen when Christians told her to leave the sin of vanity. Christian in hell for suicide, this woman's husband suffered greatly from her death. His life was empty of God despite being a Christian. Depression entered his life. He could not live without his wife and he said, I'm going to kill myself and end all this suffering. I will never exist again and everything will end. My life is hell, it all ends now. That man took his life thinking he would not exist anymore and now he's in hell. He committed suicide with a rope around his neck. He is in hell and said, I thought this place did not exist, now my suffering is worse. When he was on earth he did not suffer so much. He said he would rather go back to earth and live his depressed life than it is there. The angel said, it is too late for him and he will be in this state of torment forever until the final judgment, where he will be cast into the lake of fire that is much worse than this place. Revelation of my filthy soul. The angel took me out of hell and led me into the flower garden in the sky. The angel brought a canvas and made me see what was inside of me. I saw a river of sin flow within me. The waters of this river were filthy and imprisoned my soul. On the screen, my soul stopped near that river that looked like a sewer, I drank from its waters. I knelt to drink from those stinking waters full of insects and dead animals. The angel said. Until now you have filled your thirst with the things of the world. You have prostrated yourself to the pleasures of your flesh. Your interior is filthy and you needs to get the dirty water out of you. The angel offered me a bottle of crystal clear water from heaven. When I drank from the water of life, it pushed all the dirty water from inside me out. I vomited all the dirty water. My mouth felt like a tap spouting all the dirty water. I stayed clean and felt the crystal clear water flowing inside me. It was like a stream running through me. The water circulated freely inside my body, I felt great refreshment. From my heart that water flowed. The angel said, You are clean, from today the Holy Spirit will be part of your life, whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, 
streams of living water will flow from within him. Whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a fount of water springing up to eternal life. The angel touched my lips and said, The filth has gone out of your tongue and you will have the courage to speak the word of life. Now go back to earth and witness everything you have seen. When I began to speak of my testimony my spiritual battle increased. An entrepreneur offered me millions of dollars to report my testimony in a football stadium to crowds of people. He tried to corrupt me with the money, I said, no, as I learned from my experience, Lucifer had everything in heaven, corrupted himself and was expelled. Being caught up to heaven and hell and seeing the spiritual mysteries is no guarantee of salvation. If we do not watch, we can lose eternal life and have our name scratched from the book of life. Lucifer had everything in heaven and lost because of his pride. Revelation 3:11. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Satan has lost his crown and is now the greatest thief of crowns. Giving up makeup, my pastor approved the women of the church to put on makeup and dye their hairs. When I stopped using the makeup my husband started to say that I was ugly and tried to convince me to go back to use makeup. I looked at him and said, you like me or the makeup I wear? If you prefer makeup more than me, then you can have it. I am this person without makeup that you live together. I was born unpainted and you have to like me just the way I am. My husband was offended and left the house. Legalizing marriage he stayed and slept in his parents' house. I wanted to formalize our marriage before the law. I was willing to live a holy life before God. I prayed to God to convince my husband to marry me legally. He as a carnal believer understood nothing and needed deliverance. Weeks later he came home and said I was right. And God began to work in his life, from that moment on. I was different after the rapture. My husband could not stand in the way of God because of his lust for women. Even though he was married to me, his soul wanted other women. He confessed that he had betrayed me and prayed for God to kill the lust of his flesh and to free himself from these evil desires. It was a war, but he won in Jesus and today is a man of God. He was taken up into heaven and found that his name was not written in the book of life because he was not married to me. After he returned from his rapture, we were married by law. My husband and I were congregating in a spiritually dead church. We were the example of sanctity and revival of that place. We read the word and did prayer campaigns and our spirit was strengthened. Our soul was glad to feed on the bread of life, while many churches are not offering the bread of life. They were feeding on the earthly and perishable bread instead. Demons in toys that block prayers over children. My daughter and son had lots of toys in their rooms. I had a dream that every toy has a legion of demons inside and the children who buy these toys bring legions of little demons to their homes. That's why I prayed for my children and my prayers had no effect on them because of these toys. When I threw away these toys my children got better, because the rebellious spirits that were in them went away, which are the same ones that were in the toys. I was praying to God and Jesus said that all these toys are devoted to the little demons that children possess. When a child brings such a toy home, she brings legions of demons to her home. These demons will change the behavior, influence and even own the child. I threw all the toys in the trash and left them well hidden so no child would take this curse and bring them home. Leaving a dead church, the Christians of my church persecuted me because I preached against vanity. They felt uncomfortable and offended by my preaching. I was called a radical and a Muslim. My pastor rebuked me and took me out of church work. I saw the despair of Satan who did not want to lose souls. The fury of the demons rose against my testimony. A servant of God believed in my testimony and renounced the world. The devil used her husband to plan her death. He was going to kill her on a Sunday, but God had other plans. He died on Saturday of a heart attack. His wife was free to do the work of God. My husband and I were not having a doctrinal agreement with our pastor. We had no alternative but to leave that church so that we would not have any strife or controversy. We went to a simple church. Thank God, 
he joined my family to a church that follows the biblical standard and truth that Jesus showed me. May the good Lord bless everyone with the grace of Jesus Christ who hears my testimony, Amen.